Welcome back. This year for our holiday desserts, we decided to visit with Deerberg's European pastry chef, Judy Smith, and she shared some of her favorite holiday recipes. What we're going to show you tonight is our raspberry delight cake. Now we've simplified Judy's recipe to make it a little bit more user friendly for the home cook, but it's still very dramatic. It couldn't be easier to start with. You're going to make your favorite white cake mix and just follow the directions, but make it in three cake pans. We want this to be very tall and dramatic. Now, the cake's done and cool, I can make the mousse. And for this, I'm using raw eggs, raw egg whites. For food safety, be sure to use the egg whites that are in the carton. I'm gonna beat those just until they're foamy and then gradually mix in some sugar. Okay, these look perfect. Now the one thing you'll notice when you're using the pasteurized eggs, they take a little bit longer to whip. You might not get quite the volume that you would with regular egg whites. Just want it to be nice and shiny and smooth. Now for the next step, I'm gonna fold in some melted white chocolate. And we're gonna beat this together just until it's well combined. Okay, the white chocolate's in. Go ahead and remove this. Now it deflates just a little bit when the white chocolate is added. That's why you only wanna do it just until it's combined. Scoot this out of the way. The other thing I'm going to do to make this light and airy is add some whipped cream. And I'm going to add it in thirds. For the first batch, I can stir a little bit more briskly. That's going to help loosen this. But for the second and the third batch, you want to be as gentle as possible. Okay, that's great. And if you still see little stripes of white chocolate, don't worry. Remember, you're going to keep stirring. And the first thing I want to do with the mousse is go ahead and take about three quarters of a cup out. I'm going to save that to garnish the cake a little bit later. Now I can assemble. To make it a little easier, I grabbed a Lazy Susan. I'm going to set the cake right on top. That way I can kind of rotate it as I spread the mousse filling. I'm going to add a dollop of that to the cake. And I do get a little messy sometimes when I do this, so I put down some pieces of wax paper that's just going to help protect the plate. Now for some fresh raspberries. I'm going to use one whole carton for each layer. And I went ahead and took out 12 of the prettiest ones. And again, I'll save those for a garnish for the top. Now the raspberries are different sizes, but don't worry. Let me show you. I'm going to add a little bit more of the mousse and spread that out. That's going to help fill in all these little gaps and make a nice smooth layer. Now if the mousse ever gets too soft, just pop it back in the refrigerator for 10-15 minutes. First layer is done. I'm just going to repeat with the remaining cake, berries, and cream. You're just going to use the last bit of mousse then to kind of smooth the edges and cover up any little holes that you see. And I did get a little messy, so I'm going to go ahead and remove those paper strips and then we'll have a clean plate to work with. But you did a beautiful job. The cake is just really flat and just very, very lovely. The Lazy Susan makes all the difference. Yeah, that's great. Well, now let's take this cake and let's dress it up for the holidays. What we're going to start with is we're going to use some of the white chocolate curls. You'll pick these up at Deerberg's Bakery. It's a new item, and they're available in either white chocolate or in semi-sweet. And if you put it onto the cake while the frosting or the mousse is still a little bit soft, they'll stay on there really nicely, and it will take any of your holiday desserts and really make them fancy. And we're also going to take some of the chocolate curls and we're going to press them right into the side. And a few of them are going to fall onto the plate, but I just think that's kind of fun. I like it when they do that. Next what we want to do, I have some of that cream that Kathy reserved. We have it in a pastry bag. I'm just going to take it, and if you imagine that the top of your cake is like the face of a clock, I'm going to put a little dollop at 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 3, and 9. That helps me to keep the dollops nice and even, and what happens that way is that every serving ends up with a pretty little garnish. Yeah, just enough. Okay, next we'll put the raspberries, one into each of the rosettes. And if you save some of the smaller ones, I think that's really pretty for the top. Cake is already beautiful, but let's take it one step further. Let's definitely make this a Christmas cake. We're going to make some marzipan holly leaves. Now, you buy the marzipan in a can. It's a little bit stiff, so if you cut the end off of both the top and the bottom, you can just push it out. We're going to use half of the can for this particular recipe, and you can freeze the rest to use for another confection, so I'll just set that aside. It's a little bit stiff, 
So I'll just knead it for a little bit to soften it. And the marzipan is an almond-flavored confection. You'll find it in the baking aisle at Deerberg's. Then, in order to tint it green for the leaves, I'm just going to put it inside of a plastic baggie. That way, I can add the food color, and I won't get the green dye all over my fingers. So one or two drops is all you'll need. And I'm going to actually stop mixing this when it's still marbled. I think that'll make the prettiest leaves. You just want to roll the marzipan then between two sheets of plastic wrap or wax paper. Roll it till it's about a quarter or an eighth of an inch thick. This is actually a great thing to do ahead of time because then you can use a little cookie cutter and just cut the holly-shaped leaves. If you shape them over your finger a little bit and let them dry overnight, they'll hold their shape a little bit better. I'm just going to go ahead though and I'll shape them and place them directly on the cake so you can see what it looks like to finish them. And it just makes a really pretty finish here. Very pretty. One for each serving. Cake has gotten a lot fancier. Oh, yes, it has. <laughs> it's beautiful. And it's really an easy thing to do. Right. Not a, not a hard cake at all, even though it looks very impressive. Right. And you've got that extra half can of marzipan, so you could use this same technique for decorating any of your holiday desserts. Absolutely. Kathy and I are going to take a little break here, but when we come back, we have a terrific turf and surf idea that we're going to suggest for your New Year's Eve dinner, so don't go away.